to throw. Scanning, scrambling. Jason Bean, the transfer, finds a seam. He's across the 35. Ball is loose. It's on the deck, and let's see who comes up with it. And guess who? Enoch Makonzo. Jacob Borchella from 46 yards away on Kansas's opening drive, and Borchella is good. That is likely such a dangerous weapon in motion, and now they will pitch it. And this is Bennett with a crease. Bennett down the sideline, and he's just short of the 30. It's a 27 yard slice. They'll send tailbacks from everywhere, and now McCall over the top on a slant. Highly. Jay Vaughn Highly from 33 yards out. Occupied with the eye candy of the option. Coming at you so many different ways, and this kid, Grayson McCall, can put it on the money. He hits Highly right in stride. Bean led him on a 64-yard drive to win last week. He's at the 48 here, and he's giving ground. Bean under pressure. He throws it downfield, and he's got a completion inside the 25-yard line and down to the 12. Luke Grimm with a first down grab for Kansas. With a little play action, try to get him on the edges and make it happen. Straight ahead. It is Neal, and he is in. Touchdown where Gallagher missed a tackle, had him dead to rights in the backfield, and Neal was able to slip off and get himself into the end zone. And stepping up again is big Jeffrey Gunner, but Kansas with a lead here, 9-7 on the road. Kyron Johnson is. At the last moment in the first quarter, McCall to run. You said he can run, there he goes to the outside. He got the corner and a first down past Taiwan Berryhill. And Coastal Carolina moving the football as we'll go to the second quarter. That's likely in motion. The option, it's McCall spinning in. Touchdown, Coastal Carolina. This is a tank tackle and an opportunity to bring Grayson McCall down. But just one-on-one, -on -one, that's a play that's got to be made if you're Kansas. Jason Bean, who played on this field in a bowl game last year for North Texas. Under pressure and sacked. On a third down and nine, Coastal Carolina gets there. I mean, that is that is a great shot of party in the back. Yeah. Love it. He wears it well. And Coastal It's a shot, a clear touchdown. Alex Spillum buried the punt and is at the bottom of the pile with it. And this kind of lead, leads this offense quietly until he gets down towards the, the goal line. Yeah, they will do vertical routes with the best of them. McCall loads this one up to the left side. And the first down to Cam Brown. Call him the old man. Been around about seven years now. Seven year. Decided to play for Jamie Chadwell a second time. McCall, he felt the pocket going away. Looked like he lost the football. He got sideswiped by Malcolm Lee. He did, and I don't know if he got it back. It looks like initially Kansas fell on the ball. Don't know if they're going to get up with it, but it looks like the Jayhawks have it. They do. Take a shot here. Oh, absolutely with that play. They will run. It is Reese White with a crease for Coastal Carolina. Now what a shot is constituted as for this offense. It is. And he is in. Touchdown, Coastal Carolina. Wait, he didn't wait on Grayson McCall. He saw the hole. He was like, quarterback, get, get it to me. Come on with the ball, because I'm, I'm getting in this hole. Third touchdown of the season. The young season for Reese White. See, the deal is if it's called a lock, you got to get it right. As Bean goes down the sideline. And Kwame Lassiter, the second. It's a gain of 22 for Lassiter. He has let his play kind of speak for him. 
Here comes Gunter. He couldn't take down Bean. And Jason Bean stays upright to score. That is brilliant. Oh, nice job in the open field by Bean to maintain his balance. Just talked about needing to get on the scoreboard was Kansas on this drive. Jason Bean, when Coastal goes zone coverage, kind of left the middle of the field unaccounted for, and you see some speed that I didn't know Jason Bean had. Now Tory Lachlan in the backfield. He blocks for oh boy, this run. And up the sideline, it is going to go for a touchdown for Jason Bean. There is the speed that Clark talked about that Jamie Chadwell mentioned at halftime. You know, you're playing at 4-3 speed. Great block by, by uh, Lachlan to free up his quarterback. And then it was just speed. I mean, angles eating up and everything. The of a and nobody can put a hand you. on Jason B. Which has been a great third down offense the last year and two games. They were 52% last year. McCall shoves it to the outside. And touchdown, Reese White. Jason, how about the job of Isaiah Likely? I love the unselfishness of players on the outside. He'll pop into the screen, and the job that he does, coming across the formation out in front, and he's just going to block his guy into the end zone. Doesn't give up on it. Oh, Thursday. Andre's a yes, I'm a no. You guys go out in the kayak together. First down for Kansas. Bean is hit and dropped. Now the ball came loose. Let's see. Very steady hand. Crowd rises on third down. Bean on the roll. He unloads down the field, and it is caught. Trevor Wilson's first grab. He held on on a big hit downfield, and it's a gain of 40. Braden Max, the safety coming over to introduce himself, but how about this throw? Grayson McCall back to the steering wheel for Coastal Carolina. And he will throw to the outside for a first down and then some. And a hurdle job by Likely for a gain of 19. White the tailback. It's the option to the strong side. White touchdown. Shot of clear. Third one of the night for Reese White. Malcolm Lee misses a tackle that allowed Reese White into the end zone for the third time. He's got tremendous speed. So if you're just a, just a hair late, he makes you pay. Fourth down, Kansas. Dean is sacked. Gladney from the outside. Again. And Coastal Carolina the stop the call loads up another throw down the middle and a touchdown to Cam Brown love rewarding the unselfish players we talked about Cam Brown on a block that he threw for Reese White little zip on it late in the night 49 for Coastal for Coastal Carolina First Power 5 school to visit Brooks Stadium goes down. The shot of clears go to 2-0 and o against Kansas. Very impressive stuff, Andre. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.